from vintage clothing to vintage home decor and more. The Indiana Vintage Market is happening today. The fun will begin later on this morning at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, and that's where we find you, Dave Stella Daily Live this morning. Sounds like things are already gearing up. Yeah, you're right, Brady. Good morning. Things are gearing up. Vendors are setting up right now. I even looked through some of these shirts over here. I'm a White Sox fan, so the first shirt I saw was this AL Central Division Champs. And it wasn't the White Sox, so I couldn't go with it. But this is a cool event. Over 60-plus vendors here at the Pop Weaver Youth Pavilion. Here to talk about that is Sam. I know you put this event on in March. How does this event compare to that one? And more vendors, more space in here as well? Uh, no, same amount of vendors roughly, but bigger spaces. And well, the whole space is almost uh, 13,000 square or square feet bigger. What about people coming in? You're expecting thousands to show up here? Yeah, probably two, three thousand today. How'd you grow this event? How'd you get your name out there? I know you said this is your second one, first one was in March. How'd you get your name out there to get this many vendors and get this many people in here? Oh, we've had, or I've hosted events for three years now, so I just have a lot of connections with vendors through that. And then uh, growing this, I've grown, I mean, I've hosted events in the past, so I just kind of did the same thing, rinsed and repeat with it, and you know, now it's grown to, I mean, what it is today, I mean, it's only been three months, which is crazy to say, but we've grown very fast within those three months. And I know you're from Ohio. How do you see the Indiana or even the Indianapolis, you know, vintage culture building here, especially, I mean, there's a lot of cool pieces in here already. Indy has always had, like, a really good, like, scene in general. It was, like, probably, like, the biggest scene in the Midwest there for a while, actually. I, in my opinion at least so and but there was never much like this out here so it's kind of cool to see just like a place where everybody that's into it can you know gather shop and see their friends and buy some cool stuff and you know just have a good time that's part of the fun is having a good time i know you brought some pieces in here a lot of these are yours but what are you really looking forward to today i'm just looking forward to everybody having a good time vendors making some money uh customers coming in and finding some cool stuff and just having a good overall day I know you don't have a date plan, but there's hope to have more of these in the future here in Indy, right? Yes, yes, there is. And not necessarily in the city, but we will be going to other parts of the state like the rest of this year. We'll be in Fort Wayne next month, Lafayette in August, and Evansville in November. And they can keep all of this on your socials, right? Yep, yep. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Indiana Vintage Market. Thanks for joining us. It's going to be a fun time here. The fun kicks off at 12 o'clock, goes until 5 o'clock. A lot of cool pieces to walk through. I'm already scouting out some pieces for myself, so it's going to be a good time here. But for now, at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, I'm Colin Bailey for Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.